someone here maybe you were part of a witchcraft court before you gave your life to God please don't be ashamed we want to extract some information from you you were part of witchcraft before okay stand up why are you okay before you stand up sit down first before you stand up I hope if you talk it won't cause you any problem okay so um, first it was not directly but I have the full knowledge of it knowledge of it of okay. my grandfather so can you give us some insight because in what are the things your grandfather would do in order for him to please the spirit he's serving or to be able to gain audience from the spirit that is serving do you, do you know what it does please help us okay sir um i remember very well because anytime during the holidays i visit the village i share the same room with my grandfather there were times he could take chicken or maybe there would be a specification black white colored and all of that some they will strangle and pour blood some they will um I don't know the let, swa. Let us Please, so much what is swa? Like some they will they will pierce oh, alive. Pie, what is swa? Swa. <laughs> okay, some pointed instrument. Okay. And just kill it like that. They will kill it with yes. that instrument. Yes. Then some they will take part of either the goat or the bread or whatever it is. Take part of it and leave on the altar on the altar yes like if you in order for you to gain air time before that altar something that is alive we need to lose this life once that has been accomplished you have secured the attention of the spirit being the thing is this no man was designed to operate without an altar no man and if you have seen people that have served Sat satan very well the ones that have delved in if you go there with the gospel they are likely to tell you that you can preach to their children and their wife true sir but don't worry, don't bother about preaching to them i don't know why they say that but i hope i will find out yes go on. so you said there are some parts of some animals some birds that can be taken and the spirit likes to see them if you have gone that far to take the heart of a bird, it means the bird died. You present it. In fact, my grandfather's name, special name was a bird. They called him a Imbu Tutu, maybe like... Now, Mabutu. someone help me. Someone help us with the English name of that, of that bird. Mommy Akpa. It's, it's a common uh, bird. Uh, Personally, I don't know the name. You, of okay, you don't know the but English. But all of us know it. It's uh, it hovers around the environment. It's brown with a black tail. It oh. makes a sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> so that was the spiritual name of your grandfather. I, I think so because they hear him like they hear him with that, that name. Uh, in to the Dubai, but those elderly people, those were the name they held. They hail him with. In fact, in a in our this thing, they use it to uh, kind of pray over you to get uh, bad luck. <laughs> so, if they want to you to labor in life, <laughs> please help me tell your neighbor that life is supernatural. So well that yes go on to agree with that there was a particular day in the evening when in the house in the at the village then some people ran in the house that um, they killed a particular young man and it he was it was not a death agreed by the um, community so the person who did it was to bear carry the death on his head so hey then, wait 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 you are becoming you know there are people in in america listening to us be saying it so that they will they can hear because if you are in london walking on the streets what we are saying now looks like hey what what are these people talking about 
But you know what? Trust me. I have a gift. I can, if I start praying here, I can tell how difficult this atmosphere is. Right? The first time I went to London, it took me 12 hours of prayer to break through the atmosphere. Even the atmosphere of my village was not as powerful as that of London. Oh, you are laughing. Because someone in London now will think that he is abroad. <coughs> he doesn't know that he's in the womb of witchcraft. And that's why we are going to spend time to really walk through this teaching on altars so that everyone that is under the sound of our voice will take responsibility for his life and for his destiny. Yes? So there's something that you call Kihe. The thing is, I'm not very old. Maybe I'm saying this thing, some of you will feel I'm old, but no. My grandfather lived very long. He died at the age of 110. That was 2010, 14 years ago. And we're very close. So I know these things, like, I know them very well. So when they killed him, there's something called Kihe. So they now, if you kill someone and um, you don't want the person to die again, they will, I don't know how they will do it, so it will come back to life. So when eh? they do, yes. Wait, 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 why? Yes. You kill a human being. Yes. And then they don't want him to die again. Yes. They do that thing, then the person will come back. Yes. Can you bear witness to that? what uh, those of you listening to us online <laughs> we are transmitting live from Benue State um, may the Lord give you understanding in Jesus mighty name so what did they do to the young man did they, did yes, they... That is what I'm, I was trying to agree with mommy what she said so they came and the name they called, I think that was the first time I heard that in Blue Tutu. So uh, later he was now just seeming that it's only when there's a serious case they called him that name. So he was the only person to be still that dead person back to life. So he was the only one that had the technology. Yes, and which he did. Uh, yes. Okay, okay. Now, in fact, that is an advanced testimony. <laughs> Over and above what is required for my lecture. But... We will, we will come to that we will come to that as we progress should I tell you something if you are skillful in the way of altars you can change almost anything almost almost anything you can change almost anything so as we build it as we build this lecture will give us some practicals to go and do and then you will notice you will come back with stories you come back with testimonies. What we want to do is to equip everyone with the knowledge of how to move the hand of God. Let God no longer be a story that you tell, but a reality that you can command deliverance by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we progress, we also look at um, the personal level of altars, the corporate level of altars, and the community or national level of the practice of this kind of priesthood uh, thank you sister sister queen now you see like i said when we talk about spiritual sacrifices it comes out of a knowledge which is drawn from participating with the spirit when you participate with the spirit you get to know what the spirit likes are you there you get to know what the spirit does what likes and then anytime you want the attention of that spirit you make that thing available when you make that thing available it's a spiritual sacrifice in the natural that sacrifice may not have any meaning but the implication of that sacrifice is more spiritual than natural but when we talk about spiritual sacrifices it is drawn from the knowledge that is acquired when interacting with a spirit do you realize therefore why 
you can be ignorant in several things but not in priesthood because your skill in priesthood is drawn from the knowledge you have contacted from the spirit being that you are serving if you are not the one that personally secured that knowledge you can also use knowledge that is gotten from people other people's experience that's the reason why we lead, listen to other people's messages we we follow the faith of elders there are a lot of christian elders in this nation and beyond that i am close to the reason is because my own experience is limited as you can see i'm a young man but you see in terms of spiritual knowledge i'm not as young because what has come through my own personal intercourse with god is combined with what i was able to extract there's a lot of capacity building that is required to raise a priest because your success in priesthood is going to be based on spiritual knowledge you need to know what the being likes you're not with me you need you need to know what the being wants and if you want to secure his attention you make exactly that available the bible says that god intends for us to become a priesthood and the object of our priesthood is to deliberately offer up such spiritual sacrifices that is acceptable to god through jesus christ 